Santa Monica, 126 miles. Um, apparently this is the best day. Twisty roads, down into LA, through LA, out to Santa Monica. Final day. Final day. Here we go. Victorville to Santa Monica, 126 miles. Um, apparently this is the best day. Twisty roads down into LA, through LA, out to Santa Monica, trip over. Thoughts? Thoughts, so many thoughts. It's been tougher than we thought. It's the, the weather has been challenging to say the least. Um, the multiple hotel stops every night, packing, unpacking, and you get like getting up in the middle of the night, two o'clock, in the pitch black, or needing a wee, and not even knowing where the toilet is. <laughs> That's always been a bit of a challenge for me. Um, yeah, a few restless nights, a few sleepless nights. Um, Internet's been a problem, as we've already mm. said. Well, we just hope your bike. Oh yeah, doesn't... so my bike's now fixed, apparently. Um, so yeah, last last. Well, we're either going to be arriving there on the two bikes that we didn't start with, <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to be getting there on one bike. But we will get there. See you. See you later. See you on route and at the pier. From what we've experienced from Chicago, so Illinois, all the way across to Nevada, we haven't been impressed, in all, all honesty. Um, the, the weather's been pretty shocking. The organisation has been poor, I think is the best. Um, if you're ever thinking about doing one of these tours, 
seriously consider what your options are. Um, I think Eagle Rider have got lost in the fact that they're concentrating more on the fact that they are a business and they don't actually consider the fact that people, there are a lot of people on our tour um, and the tour that's adjoining us that are Europeans um, have saved for years and years and years to do what is an absolute bucket list trip. Um, but you're treated as just a number in a, you know, you're a wheel in a massive, or a cog in a massive machine that you're just, you, you're just given. Oh, the other thing as well is that what we don't understand is when we booked this a couple of years ago, we ticked all the insurances. Every insurance that was available to us on the booking form, we ticked everything and we thought, well, let's just pay the price, get everything, make sure that we're, we're not going to get caught short of anything when we're over there. And then guess what? When you're there picking the bike up, they clobber you for yet another insurance, which costs us $1,200. So $600 each, um, which was for breakdown. So roadside assistance. I questioned that based on the fact of A, we paid for the what was the VIP package, which was it should have been everything. But more importantly, we had a support vehicle with a trailer with a spare bike on it. So my argument was was very much a case of well, if one of us breaks down, then surely there's a spare bike that we then use. But no, that isn't the case. We lost our support vehicle for two days of so far eleven days of riding, um, where he had to drive you know cross country to one of their depots to swap bikes out. We went two days without any support vehicle, which meant that we went without water. Um, we, we on one of the days, no, nah, no, nah, it's gonna be fine today, no rain forecast. Well, two hours after the driver had gone, the heavens opened. So we were left stranded with just jeans, t-shirt, um, and a, like a, a, a body jacket. Um, no waterproofs, nothing. Um, and got absolutely drenched and the temperatures dropped from 104 Fahrenheit to 56 which is around sort of 36 degrees down to about 15 degrees um, it was absolutely bloody freezing and we were soaking wet um, that was the day that we'd done the Grand Canyon which um, kind of excuse the pun but put a bit of a dampener on it in a nutshell how would you rate the tour the tour itself and the people on the tour um, some of the people on the tour are not our cup of tea, but <clears throat> I mean, it, it's difficult because we liked everybody when we did the motor rad tour. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's really nice, but there's a few, most of them are, are really nice. 90% are great. Um, but on the motor rad tour, we were really sociable. We all ate together, talked together, did stuff together. This is like very, dis uh, there's a huge disparity between everybody. Um, and it, but it is what it is. I mean, Brad's really good. Mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a guide, if it wasn't for him, I think we'd probably jacked it in. Yeah. Um, I mean, Andreas, the driver. I mean, everything's a problem. He's you, got. You, he has got better. Yeah, but you broke down, and it was like, oh, it was like it, it was. It was. Yeah, it was like my fault. It was. Yeah, it was like, oh, now what would be done? So, but I mean, the thing is, the support vehicle wasn't there for the two days because of my bikes. First of all, I had the puncture where Eagle Rider should really have had a mobile unit that come either comes and replaces the bike or comes and does the tires, um, rather than lose the support vehicle for a whole day. And then obviously my bike broke down three times. It was a brand new bike. It had five miles on it when I picked it up. Mm. So you wouldn't expect it to break down, but you can't can't sit on something that's an engine with wheels on it that you don't trust, so yeah, had to go. It's getting harder, she might decide, I got a live one, cause she's the wild.
Where we're staying. Where's the Viceroy? There. Which one? The one to the right of the white, in between two. Yeah, Hold on. Well, where we stayed a couple of years ago. Yeah. It's the one. With the pointy roofs. Yeah. There. And we're staying there. End of the trip. <laughs> we are in the Bubba, Bubba Shrimp. 
I'll go outside. And then I have drinks right here. Thank you. Overall thought of Eagle Rider? Uh, I'd never do it, an Eagle Rider tour again. No. Um, whereas Motorrad would definitely do another Motorrad tour again. Or more. But I think yeah. the thing is, it was a toss. We were going to obviously do the tour on our own and, mm -hmm. and organise it all on our own. Um, but then with COVID, we just thought an organised tour would be easier. And we thought Eagle Rider being the biggest and best out there would be the best one to do. Had we thought we might have done, looked at like Hadrian's tours that we saw at the motor yeah. show. Um, and we might have had a bit more time, but literally we, we swapped from doing our own tour with organised the bikes, hotels, stops and everything to doing a, a, an organised tour. So there wasn't really a lot of time to decide who to go with. Yeah. It's been a, um, a, a, a dream of mine to do Route 66 for probably 20 years. Um, since it became quite popular again that it was a, a thing to do and that there are companies out there organising the, the, the full route. Um, the actual Route 66, I'd say of the 2,300 miles we've done at the moment, I would hazard a guess we've done probably 900 miles of that on Route 66. The rest is either running parallel to it or taking an interstate to jump a section to get to where we're going next. Um, it probably needs to be another two or three days longer with an extra couple of breaks in between. Um, we haven't found it overly strenuous, but there are certainly some older people on the tour that would probably have benefited from doing maybe 50 miles less. But also, I think we haven't experienced any of the towns on Route 66. By the time we've stopped, mm. either dried our clothes from that day because we've got absolutely soaking, yeah. or we're absolutely knackered. Eat and flake out. Eat and flake out, so you don't actually see anything, which is a bit of a shame. But also, um, I don't think Eagle Rider have set these bikes up particularly well, considering the road conditions of some of Route 66. A lot of people are complaining about the suspension on the bikes, that they're rock hard. It's not, uh, they, these are supposed to be cruisers. Mm. Even Brad was moaning about his. Yeah, it, they're not cruisers, they're, they're, they don't glide. No. They, how, how mine is called a road glide, I, I've got no idea. I mean, idea. mine's really comfy, I, I can't really complain about suspension on the soft air. It, yeah. it's, it, it, it's good, but. I do feel for those that are riding those bikes because they're just, and to set them up, you have to take the bike apart. It's not like you can even even twist something. Um, so yeah, I, I think that it's very slapdash is the word I'd use for, for Eagle Rider and their rentals. Yeah. Last day. We've done it. Last ride. I didn't actually want to finish. Did I, you I, not? No, I said to Vinny, I said when we got there. Yeah. I said, actually, I didn't want to finish riding. I was quite enjoying it, like just cruising around LA with shirt, t-shirt on. Yeah. Were you nice. having it undone? No, I'd done it up. Tell you. What? Tell all you can say about two weeks of riding across America. <laughs> I didn't want to finish. I didn't want to finish. I, I thought, it, when, when it first started, I, I thought we'd quit. Um, yeah, we did have I a moment, didn't we? I didn't think we'd finish it. Um, but yeah, I was a bit disappointed that you can't, can no longer ride onto Santa Monica Pier, though. Yeah, we've got to stop saying stuff we're disappointed with. No, what no, about no, the good stuff? No, but I was expecting like to ride on the, the wooden planks. Yeah. And then when we didn't, I was like, oh. There's been some massive highs and lows, though, right? Yeah. Massive. I mean, the last, the last four days, um, we've enjoyed our riding, but we haven't enjoyed the riding with the group. Um, no, I wouldn't no, say that. No, I haven't. Especially that that today with the lovely twisties. You know, some people get their knickers in a twist if you overtake. But the problem is, we then have someone at the front that goes at a slow pace, and they were then holding everyone up. Well, they weren't holding me up. I was at the back. No, but there was three of us that were getting a little bit frustrated that we wanted to get a little bit more of a lick on. Um, but unfortunately, you know, these things pe happen. People don't like you overtaking. Um, it's been a long couple oh, of weeks. My boots are ruined, my gloves are ruined. Yeah. Mm, need some more kit when we get back home, so I need I need all new summer gear and winter gear. Oh, yeah. it's such a chore, isn't it? Anyway, we've got the uh, end of trip 
Party. Fun, fun evening, apparently. It's a very fun evening. So, um, yeah, watch I think we're this, going out for a... Watch this space. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll reserve judgment on that. But um, anyway, we'll see you at the party. Is that a bit of you, Eduardo? but just in general, that I, that I hope you were thinking that you were going to get out of it. So hopefully you got more out of it than, uh, than that. So anyway, I want to tell you that I'm very proud of all of you. It's not an easy trip. And compared to how, how many people are on the planet to do this, there's not that many. So, having said that, I have your certificate of completion of Route 66. Except for you, except for you, Mike, you got Route 33. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. You get right there. That's for Sarah. It's for Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Yes, Sarah. Sarah, I got to ride two motorcycles. And so did Mike. Mike got to ride two motorcycles. Oh, yeah, that's what Sarah did. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get to ride three motorcycles? Uh, we're not gonna raffle this one, we're gonna auction this one. I found this sitting on a table back at the uh, Eagle Rider where we left our bikes. It's a photograph of all of us, get, get, or uh, these people, getting off of a helicopter. What can I get bids on this here? I'm just kidding. Well, Whose photo is this? <laughs> this is somebody's photo from the helicopter trip they left on the table. Is it yours? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's Tony, Eduardo, Pedro, Gary, and Tiffany. So somebody bought this picture. I didn't buy it. <laughs> Who's in charge? Who's in charge of that photo? I knew somebody would want it. I was in charge. <laughs> This is something special. This is something nobody would buy, for sure. But I bought it, okay? And you'll be surprised, whoever wins this pot holder is going to be blessed with a memory of Route 66 every time they take something hot out of the oven. And you'll remember it. So, who's gonna win the Route 66 pot holder? Eduardo and Pedro win that one! Right there. Thank you.
doing? You, the, it, the thing you knew you never wanted. <laughs> <laughs> the Brazilians are winning. Only Brazilians. Yeah. <laughs> this is rigged. This is rigged. Hey. Hey, Mimi. I don't understand. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's been a wonderful time. It's been a long trip. And I've, uh, it's been my pleasure to show a lot of you America. Even you, Mike. Even though you know America already. It's been a pleasure showing you America. And uh, like I said, I hope you got out of it as, as much as, as we did. We got a lot out of it. So um, thank you again. And... Hopefully we'll ride again together sometime soon. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.